In this video, I'm going to talk about kind of two of the last options that you have as far as setting up some lighting in your scenes. However, the one drawback to this is it is going to require the Arnold renderer. While I shouldn't call it a drawback, if you have a lower end machine, you might not be able to actually use these. Under the Arnold renderer tab, you actually have several different lights, but more specifically, you also have things like a sky dome and a physical sky. If you want a super easy kind of render output, if you just choose a physical sky, and then I go into the render view, and I make sure to switch over to Arnold, and I'm also going to remake sure I'm still on camera one, and I go ahead and do a render, you get exactly that. You get this nice kind of subtle layout as far as a render background goes. This can be really nice as far as just getting a quick background in place. And you can also too, whenever you're working with the physical sky itself, you do have some options as far as the overall intensity of the sky tint and also as far as the sun size. However, just a reminder to everybody, and I'm going to go ahead and assign a new uh, standard surface to uh, this little guy as well here. Whenever you're working with the amb or with the sky dome here, you have to be careful. Again, the higher you take your options as far as the overall physical sky is concerned and the lighting for the dome light, the more it's going to get intense as far as and push your machine whenever you get to your render options. So I'll go ahead and render again here and see what we get. And there you can see my computer is taking a little bit longer as far as the render output. However, now that I upped the sun a little bit, you can actually see the sun catching on the material up here as far as the layout. So working with the sky dome light is a quick and easy way to get kind of a nice gradient background to add into your overall scene. Now, let's say that you want something different though. I'm going to go ahead and delete this for a second. And as a reminder, as I'm doing this, Remember that your other lights too, is like my ambient and my directional light, will still work with the Arnold renderer. I do want to show you a sky dome as well. The sky dome is just that. It is going to create a specific color value as far as the overall layout goes. So for instance here, if I go ahead and just render now as far as my sky dome, you'll see I get a much different look as far as the overall color and layout for the sky dome. It's a solid color, and yes, you can control intensity and the color of the sky dome. However, another thing that you might want to consider with your sky dome, as far as the overall layout, is up under color. If you notice, similar to other elements in Maya, notice you have the checkerbox again. I could actually click on the checkerbox and choose a file type to act as the overall image here. Now this is where a website like where we can get our 4K downloads and stuff like that as far as our HDRIs are concerned. So like for instance, I think I downloaded one prior to this. Oops. Here we go. So I went and got an HDR that's about 4K. So if I go ahead and say open, now you can see in my background here, you can see how it quickly applied my overall design for me. So now what I can do is kind of bring my camera out a little bit here. And if I wanted to, I'm not locked in on the sky dome size. I could actually make it much larger and honestly make it a little bit more believable that, you know, maybe they're tiny dinosaurs. So now if I go ahead and render out the scene using the Arnold renderer again, this is probably going to take a little bit longer as far as the overall design. But here you can see not only do I get the background image appearing as far as the layout goes, but also I get a much more earthy light tone popping off of the sky dome because of using those different colorings there. So while it might not be as pronounced on each of the dinosaur materials, you see that I've got that strong background and again, that's a trade-off for file size. A 1K file is going to look much more pixelated than the 4K file size. So with that in mind, you have a lot of different options as far as your layout goes.